What's going on everyone? Welcome to another tutorial in the series. So in the last two tutorials, we are talking about modules and also how to import a module. And we also looked at how we can create our own module. So that's all good, but we can also install third party modules and third party modules can be really useful and can save you a lot of time. I also mentioned in the previous tutorial that we use pip to install third party modules. Pip comes by default with Python version 3.4 and above. So if you're following the tutorial, don't worry about that. But if you're using some older Python version, there will be steps in the description box below on how to install pip. So to check if you have pip installed, first press windows R and then CMD pip dash and capital V. So if you don't get an error, it means that pip is installed on your system. Now let's look at how we can install modules and we'll install a module named camel case. And the module basically capitalizes the first letter of every word in the sentence. So to install a module, you type pip install and the module name, so camel case and press enter. So it installed successfully and it didn't take much time, but if the module was larger, it would have taken a bit more time. So now our module is installed. So let's look at how we can import it. So let's import the module. So from camel case import camel case and make sure both the C's are capital or you might see an error and let's create a string. So S equals hello world. If you remember in the previous tutorial, I said that we can have classes in the modules we create. So this module has a class camel case. And to access the methods in the class, we use objects. So we'll need to create an object. So let's say C equals camel case. And let's print the camel case version of hello world. So C dot and hump. So this is the method in the camel case. And let's pass our variable S and let's run this. And you can see it works, it capitalized H and W. So this is how you can install third party modules. And if you're wondering how I know about this module and its methods, then there's this website called as PyPy, which lists all the third party modules. And you can see we have camel case and it also has pip install camel page. You can copy it and paste it inside the command prompt. And it also has the description and the usage. And you can see we have some code. We also have some code here. So on this website, you will see how you can use the module, the methods present in the module. So it is not available for every module listed on PyPy, but it is available for most of them. So if you want to install third party modules, uh, you can check them on PyPy. And as for default modules that come with Python, you can search for Python module index and click on the first link. And Python module index will list all the default modules that come with Python. We can check for math. So we'll click on M and you can see we have math and it will list all the functions. So math.seal, math.com and it will also tell you what the function does. So we used square root. So let's look for square root and you can see we have the square root function that we used and it takes one parameter and in the description, it says it returns the square root of X. So these are the two websites that you might want to look at when dealing with modules. So if you're dealing with a third party module, you can come at pypy.org or if you're dealing with a default module, you can come at Python model index and search for the module. And there are a bunch of other third party models present on pypy. So you can search for them on pypy. So now we looked at how we can install modules and we also looked at where we can find the module description for the third party ones as well as for the default ones. Now let's look at how we can uninstall some modules. So let's uninstall camel case. We'll do pip uninstall camel case and press enter and it will ask for your confirmation. So press Y and it uninstalls camel case. So this is how you uninstall third party modules. Now let's say you want to list all the third party modules that you installed. To do that, you can do pip and list and press enter. So these are all the third party modules that I installed. Now for you, the list might be a bit small. 
So since we are at the command prompt, let's also look at how we can run a Python script or Python file from the command prompt. But first let's clean this up. Since we uninstalled camel case, it will show us an error. So let's print something and let's save it. So save. So this is my Python file. It is under desktop and YouTube Python. Now to run this file from the command prompt, open your command prompt and then type CD and copy this path. So control C and paste it after CD and press enter. So now you can see we are at the same path as our tut1.py, which is our Python file. Now to run the Python file, you type Python and your Python file name. So for me, it is tut1.py. So you type Python and your file name dot py and press enter and you can see it prints something. So this is how you can run a Python file from the command prompt. So since we are just learning the basics, we won't need command prompt. But as you get advanced, you might need command prompt to do some tasks. But as for now, just remember that you can also run a Python script from the command prompt. And that concludes the video. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching, subscribe if you liked it and until next time.